Hello everyone, as you know, I am Draco, and in this video, we're back in Skyrim, er, <laughs> we're not in Skyrim, not in Skyrim, we're back in, well, a new game, don't starve together, we're not gonna be, you know, a playthrough, yet. <laughs> Today, I'm starting a new series called One Time Plays, where I, me, Draco Blaze, also known as Telvoro on Xbox, will be playing ga random games. I, you know, reviewing them kind of, like seeing how much I like them, kind of talking about it, you know, and uh, I think what I'll do is at the end of the video, once I finally played at least a decent amount of the game, I will be trying, I will rate the game on how much I think I will play it in the future. Like, do I think I will play it again in like a playthrough, like make a full playthrough of it? make a full um you know whatever it's called uh, uh like a full playthrough not play it at all or maybe perhaps but today we're going to be playing don't stop together and let's get into it loading i played this a little bit before i know something about it but i don't really play it that much i haven't played in that long winter hibernation best Daily gift. Moon glass talons. Huh. Yeah, you can like, customize characters and stuff. Okay. You got. Okay, here's the different features. And don't start together. You're basically like kind of like Tur. It's kind of similar to Terraria. They actually had a crossover, uh, maybe in the like the 1.4 update, I believe it was. Or no, it was like 1.4.2 was the update. Uh, for Terraria, one of the last ones that's happened so far, and they had it basically like you could. One of the bosses from this game was introduced into Terraria, and some of the stuff from Terraria was put in this game, uh, including the Eye of Cthulhu and the twins. So that was cool, even though they were changed up a little bit with their names and everything. But basically, this game's kind of like Terraria, how you go around and kind of collect items and stuff to try and improve your base and uh, upgrade everything. So you got browse games, which basically allows you to browse other people's games that are playing on right now, and you can join them and basically play with these random people. Um, I can item collection shows you the different yeah. items you yeah. yes, items you've collected. Uh, those are all the different characters, as you can see on the top. I don't have them all locked, but you can unlock certain ones by buying stuff. Uh, compendium, you got, uh, how many, like, what you've been killed by, huh, you got survivors, all this stuff, you know, options, you can probably, you know, just change your stuff like normal, shop, allows you to shop for stuff, I guess, uh, I think it requires some stuff, so I'm not doing that. You can log out, I'm not doing that, of course, uh, but then we can host a game. Uh, this is an old thing I did, I will delete that. Uh, not gonna, oh, yeah. So there's different things you can do. Relaxed, uh, more relaxed play style with less threats from the world. Survivors will not die from starvation, freezing, overheating, or the darkness. Damage to survivors is reduced, resurrection is always available via the floor and posture. A never-ending Don't Starve Sandbox. Resurrection is always available via the fluid posture. The standard Don't Starve experience is Survivor. Wilderness, it's wild and dangerous out there. Enter a random location in the world. When you die, pick a new survivor and try, try again. Lights out, a dark twist on the standard Don't Starve experience. I think that's in like a cage or something. But we're starting in Survival, the standard Don't Starve experience. If you don't know, Don't Starve was a was the original game this is a new version of don't start the uh, the original game where you can play with other people that's why it's called don't start together or dst instead of ds uh uh let's call it one 
Just call it O T P. One time plays. I don't really care what that is, but I see. Um, not public. Friends only. Local. Game mode. You can't choose that. Uh, no. Okay. PvP. Uh, off. No players at all. Just one. That's just me. Uh, there is. I uh, one two three four five six seven eight. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. That's just. I don't really care. And as you can see, there's multiple things up there. You can change the world presets. Make it the caves. You can roll back to different things that's happened. But who cares? Let's generate the world for the first time. It might take a second. Give me. Give me a few minutes, it might take a little bit to generate to launch the server. Server's generating. Oh, that takes probably because of the last time I played it was before I got new internet. That makes me think faster. Hey. That's not important. <laughs> That's a dog. Come on, dog. No, now he's back up again. Now he's gonna be fucking. No, stop. Shut up. We're doing something. Shut up. We're playing something. Go sit in your bed or something. Yeah. You understand me? Go, go, in, in, yeah. Oh, 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 oh you look like you want to be petty. You not want to be petty? Okay, sit down then. No, ah, uh, mmm. Server generating world. Stop. I'm guessing this music is because it's like a holiday thing. Oh, no. Sit down, in your bed. In bed, yeah. Sit down. Sit. No! Why did you get in your bed if you're not gonna sit down? <sighs> Connecting. Oh, we're, we're in. Loading. Metal with world gen settings in the options menu to shape a world to your liking. Stop! Shut up! We're about to get in the thing. <laughs> Still loading. Why does it take so long to load? Because it's a new world. But, here we go. I think it's Christmas style, of course, because you can see all the different... Uh... Um... Oh, ornaments. See the cool music. You got different characters. Wilson! The gentleman scientist grows a beard. Ma magnificent. Magnificent beard. Nothing in hand. The fire spotter. Willow. Tom. Shut up. Wolfgang. The strong man. Wendy. The bereaved. Wix. 78. The soldiers and automaton. Wicker Bottom. The librarian. Woody. The lumberjack. Well, that makes sense. Woody. The lumberjack. Well, what did he cut down? Cut the wood. Uh, where's the side? Maxwell the Puppet Master. He's like the main antagonist, or at least it was in the original game. Wigfrid the Performance Officer. You'll have to read all the stuff for her, find out like all the lore if you want. I'm not gonna explain it. I also don't want to spoil it. Weber the Indigestible. He's like a spider. The Winona the Handy Woman. Wally the Culinarian. Who talks the Soul Star? Watch the half pint. Uh, random. Anyone could be under that hat. Who knows what's under there? I'm not doing that though. Basically, these different characters have different stats and stuff. Um... Uh, as you can see, they, they have different amounts of sanity, health, and starvation. Now, we'll show you that in a second. We're just gonna go with the normal Wilson. Wilson enters the constant with nothing in hand. The world that you join is called the constant, by the way. 
I'll conquer the world with my mind. I will just go in with the normal, normal clothes and everything. I'm not going through that right now. But yeah, you can change your clothes. Oh. As you can see. So once you start in, you spawn right here for Florid Postron. And uh, I guess I'm already late. You basically start and you can pick flowers and stuff and grass. From here, once you start, basically you just walk around and you pick up some saplings and some flowers and maybe even some rocks if you're knit. Flint if you're lucky. Grass is a very useful item in this game along with flint and wood. Or logs of wood. Okay, as you can see in the top right corner, you have that little thing at the top that says day one. The yellow area that it isn't on right now is daytime. If it's on that, it means that it's going through daytime. If it's red, that means it's getting later. It's kind of getting into the evening. And the pur purple, dark bl blue, like blackish one up right at the top, on the top left of it, of that little circle thing, is the night. During the night, everything is basically evil, and there are creatures called shadow beasts that hunt you down and try to kill you. You might see that in a second if I'm not if I'm unlucky. Basically, though, under that there's starvation, your starvation bar, your um, health bar, and your um, sanity. Oh, I have done that. Basically, with your um, Sanity that goes down over time, especially if you're like near certain creatures like deer crops, which if you played Terraria's newest version, you would know who that is. Ooh. Oh yeah, wormholes basically just appear up and if you go into them, you can appear in some random other world, like piece of the land that it's connected to, piece of the world. Um, but yeah, if the sanity bar goes down when you're near certain characters like Deer Clops, you probably don't know who that is. I, I probably, you probably won't find out unless you look it up or you play this yourself or I make a full series on this, you know. But basically, um, it goes down and if it goes down, if it goes down, uh, you start kind of like seeing shadow beasts and stuff. Oh, oh, equip, whew, I barely survived there. As you can see, at nighttime everything gets dark and you have to have a torch or a campfire or something like that to keep yourself alive. Like what I'm doing right here with my torch. I just have to last until the night ends and then I should be fine. But, uh, basically there's seasons that change over time. The sanity bar goes down and you start seeing these shadow creatures that attack you and stuff. Um, the health bar goes down if you take damage from enemies or if your starvation is all the way down. And your starvation goes all the way down if you haven't eaten any food in enough, to, like in, in a certain amount of time. You get food from going around and collecting stuff and killing things and cooking their stuff. Basically. Ah! 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 If you go near fire, I think you start taking damage. I will unequip that. And I will over here go. And I, have I created. No, I haven't. So, from here, so, once you start, you need to get flint, three flint, and three sticks. With two sticks and two flint, you can make a pickaxe, and with one flint and one stick, you could get an axe. Uh, if it, if the night comes before you can do that, then just, you know, do the normal stuff. Oh, I have two axes. Oh, whatever. Well, wait, with your axe, you basically just chop your tree, this tree, like your, these nearby trees down to get logs of wood. Like this. There's also some pretty cool music in this game, so... 
See, my goal is I need to get some food so I can eat it before I starve to death and die. Luckily, though, you can eat flower petals and uh, butterfly wings. If you kill a butterfly, a X is the button you use to attack, at least for me. If you can kill a butterfly, it drops its wings and those can be used to heal yourself. As you can see, it usually drops two, sometimes it drops only one. Well, they can be used to heal yourself. But as you, but seeds and uh, like carrots and stuff like that can also be used to uh, fill your food bar up. Which I need so I can survive. There's also berry bushes around, as you can see. But there are also some other dangerous creatures you can find out throughout the world. Your best bet is to probably start out a little tiny base of operations and then go out and attack and, like, upgrade your stuff to find creatures and attack them and kill them and stuff. Stop demonetize me, YouTube, for saying kill. But yeah, basically just go around and do this for a long time, and eventually, if you play for long enough, you can beat the game. It just takes a really long time. I'm not going to be doing that, of course, in this episode. I'll just be showing you around a little bit of the game. Maybe die. If you die, sometimes you can resurrect yourself at the florid posture in that thing over there. But if you are in my this mode right here that I'm playing in... You can only resurrect yourself by um, going to this, finding this one thing in the world that's like a weird stone tablet thing, and you can use it to revive yourself, I believe, it's once. Oh! See that thing over there? That is a certain special thing. with mechanical creatures. That, but it also has something special in the middle. That horse looking thing over there attacks you. And that, that thing with the light bulb head over there and the one eye that's kind of like right there I'm trying to stay away from is a bishop and they can snipe you from across the map with their like weird light power things that they have. So if you have if you cut down enough trees and gotten enough wooden logs and stuff you can go into the fire section here as you can see there's like survivor items tools light sources uh, stations and stuff refined materials weapons armor cloth clothing healing shadow magic decorations everything rain gear summer items winter items Beefalo, beefalo are like buffaloes kind of in this game, you can ride them around. Seafaring, you get some boats and stuff. Fishing, food and gardening, cooking, you can like make better foods and stuff to eat. Storage situation, or storage, storage solutions and structures. You want to go to light sources if you want to make a campfire. Basically you just make a campfire wherever. If you have a pickaxe, you can go around and kind of like mine these rocks to get there we go. Oh, see that? That's a spider. They spawn near those big things, and if if they see you, they'll all swarm on you and kill you, basically. So you don't want to mess with those. Oh, besides, oh, like you know what you're doing right now and everything. You can also go and inspect stuff. It's all piney. It's an evergreen. Plant? It's a plant. You only have limited inventory space down there, by the way, unless you get certain items that can expand it, like backpacks. It's all leafy most of the time. Most of the time, leafy. Maybe they'll grow back? Um, carrot. This earth, the earth is making plant babies. 
just go to a rabbit hole. That must lead to the kingdom of the bunny men. <laughs> if you look at a bird, oh, I didn't see it. If you look at a spider, it says, I hate spiders. It's all sleeping. Baby trees are so cute. If you're lucky, sometimes you can get away from those creatures. Hmm. Might survive another night and then end the video. Oh. Oh, I got lucky there, as you can see. If you're unlucky, you can, um, if you're very unlucky, you can die pretty fast. Like there, I almost died from the, from the darkness. But see, I put a campfire now, now I can roast my carrots. Nah, I'm putting my hunger and stuff out, but you can see over there. Unluckily, there's, there's spiders over there. So I'll probably have to make another campfire sometime. But now I have ten roasted berries I can walk around and eat them. If you can get a pickaxe somehow, like I have one right here. If you can find a rock, you can mine it. Like this right here, you can mine it. Stop. I'm trying to record. Please, 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 please stop, please. You can get like rocks and stuff. And you can make fires. Fire pits. If you have 12 rocks, you can make a fire pit, which basically stays there for a while. Unluckily, in this area though, you've got these reed things. It's all, it's a clump of reeds. I can't see the bottom. But there's also creatures here. Oh! Those things can attack you. And kill you if you're not lucky. Luckily this path can save you. Paths? If you walk on a path, it's, a lot, it's like two times faster than walking on the ground. Still not that fast though. So you can get like a cane that allows you to walk around and stuff, but... As you can see, this is basically the basics of, <laughs> it's basically the basics, so don't starve together. Pretty, pretty fun. I'd say it's a pretty fun, pretty decently fun game. This, sometimes these roads can be good. That's a weird noise. That's the Klaus. See that's okay. This see that for an example of a boss, this is a loot stash hidden somewhere throughout the world. Stop! I'm trying to explain something. If you basically, if you have a key, a certain key from something, you can open this. I believe it's like an, the antler from a certain type of reindeer that spawns in the world. But if you use it on this loot stash, it opens. It's supposed to open it. But then the boss named Klaus comes out. He's kind of like this weird red demon deer thing comes out and he starts fighting you and if you can beat him you can get tons of rare items and stuff and these presents and stuff that he drops. So it's pretty pretty interesting, pretty good boss. As you can see if you're really crazy enough you're gonna start seeing those things, those little shadow monsters. Oh we got a pig village here. If you kill pigs in this game, see there's a pig king in the middle. If you kill the pig pigs you can you can make certain items that are useful, like base, like football helmets and stuff. 
That can be very useful. But as you can see, if they attack you, you're most likely not going to survive. <laughs> With enough pedals, you can actually kind of decently heal yourself up a little, but not very much. He said, you not pig, you has me to back off. Smells. They kind of creep me out. I guess the king pig is like locked away or something. Unable to leave. Uh. Turn the lights off when you get near, as if they're not on. That's funny. But you know, that's basically it. That is Don't Start Together. That is it. I'm sorry for the dog that won't stop and won't just be quiet in the background, but he just won't shut up. Sack the hollow stump. You can get those things from those mole worms. Catcoon. It's like a raccoon, but it's a catcoon. But as you can see, if you can kill it, you can get meat. But, I think this is it. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. But, yep, that's it. This is Don't Starve Together. I think my rating on do I think I will play it again is, I don't think so. I don't think, I think it's probably red. I don't think I'll play this game again. I don't think I'll make like a big, if I do, it won't be a big series. It'll just be like a little small series. But yep, that's my rating. Probably not going to play it again at all. But, yep, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this first episode of One Time Plays OTP. Anyways, goodbye. I'll see you next time and have an amazing day. Beep-a-dee-boop-a-dee-bop. Beep.